One of my all-time favorite bands, Ween, once said, A friend is a friend who knows what being a friend is. Talking to a friend. And today on the channel from AEW Unrivaled Series 8, we've got Chuck E.T., we've got Trent, we've got best friends. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel as we continue unboxing AEW Unrivaled Series 8. And today, we've got best friends. We've got Trent, we've got Chuck E.T., and we've got a whole lot of fun as AEW Unrivaled Series 8 gives us some fresh faces in the AEW Jazzwares line as these two are making their AEW Jazzwares debuts. No, They're not the debut figures for these two. As we know, we've had some of these in the past via FTC, Mattel, of course. We'll even do one little comparison at the end of this video like we usually do. Uh, but very cool to get these guys actually in a modern figure in uh, the AEW or Mattel, but AEW in this case line. So I'm here for it all day long. Very exciting times. What a time to be alive, some might say. But let's do it like we normally do it. Let's take a look at the packaging. Let's talk about it. Let's unbox it. Let's talk about it. See where it goes from there. We're going to start it off with Trent. Question mark. You can't forget that question mark at the end. It's like a question. Is it really Trent? Is it really him? And unfortunately, he's really outdated. As we know, he has returned from neck surgery. Obviously, a very serious injury. You never want anybody, uh, especially doctors, fooling around with your neck. Uh, but it is what it is. It's uh, the life of a wrestler every once in a while. So he has long hair in this. So it is outdated as he does have short hair on TV now. We've seen that before in many different toy lines over the years. That's just kind of the way it goes. The old luck of the draw. But uh, it's okay. It's acceptable. I'm sure we'll get more Trent figures in the future. Uh, you got a little glamour shot down below like we're used to. AEW Unrivaled logo. Same thing up there. Very classic superstars inspired. I'm always going to say that as you guys know my love for the classic superstars. You got old Trent on the side, of course. And then there he is. A little glamour shot below. AEW logo. Uh, AW Series 8, number 65 in the line. Yes, 65. Can you believe it? AW on that side. And then, of course, the back. Here's a little glamour shot of Trent. He's got his autograph up there. Got the cross sell. It's the best friend set. We got Trent. We got Chucky D. Chucky D? We got Chuck D from Public Enemy. No, we got Chucky T. We got Orange Cassidy, Chris Detlander, and of course Jericho and Moxley in this set as well. Let's see what it says on the back here. Does it say anything? Dynamite 85 2020, Jacksonville, Florida. And you got Trent. Looks like he's taking on old proud and powerful there. I love the big question mark by his name. I don't know when he thought that up or the reason for it, but hey, I'm here for it. It is different. It's different than just regular old Trent. So I'm I like it. I like it. Good idea. All right, let's pull them out of the package. See if we gotta do this now. Oh, rookie, rookie. See you later. Oh, I remember the first time I opened up an AEW figure. It was obviously today. Oh my gosh. See you later. See you later. I'm just disappointing myself. Oh, oh my gosh. Get out of here. See you later up high. Oh, I'm knocking things over. This is going south quick. South in a hurry is what's happening. There we go. We got old Trent. There he is, the old plastic prison. There it is. Like it. Like it. Pull him out, maybe. Oh my gosh, there it is. See you later. Goodbye. Jeez, I'm 10 for 10 here. What are we doing? So once again, now we got some interesting things and we got some crazy things, some head scratching things. Uh, but once again, we get Polly Pocket style jackets. Uh, it's kind of the flavor right now. We got it with FTR. We got it with Jericho and Unrivaled Series 8. Uh, probably Chucky e. T. Chucky e. kind of. Not full jacket, of course. We get it with Moxley. Now we get it with Trent as well. So that is a little interesting. They keep coming. Soft goods. I'd love to see more of it. I know they stain the figures. There's got to be a workaround. There's got to be something. Or at least give us some movement in these jackets. There's just got to be a way is what it is, though. But I will say, I'm very happy to say this and very surprised to say this, that old Trent here, Trent with a question mark, he has two fists. Two fists on this one. Trent has two fists, nothing else, no extra hands, no accessories with this figure. But very, very interesting. We have two fists. So, hey, I like that. You guys know I've been screaming for fists. We're getting them mixed into the line a little bit. Uh, and we got some right here. But we got the Polly Pocket jacket. I like the racing stripe, the yellow against the black. Black and yellow always looking good together. Got the Trent with the question mark there. Got the old big question mark on the back. Trent's head sculpt. It looks a lot like him. It also looks kind of like a, a biker version of Fondango, our old friend Fondango, or Dirty Dango, whatever you want to call him. 
but it does have a little bit of a resemblance to him, but it looks like Trent. I think you pull this off, people are going to know it's Trent. Some might say Fandango, but uh, I'm going to say Trent. He does have a headband. It is molded in. It is not removable. Good flowing locks, almost a purplish hue to the color there. Maybe that's just kind of against the black, making it be that way. Got a little bit of paint onto the headband uh, from the hair. That's always unfortunate. Always a little bit glossy in the face. I've noticed with a lot of the AEW, we've talked about that before. Not quite as bad as Super 7 a little bit. Super 7 gets awfully glossy in the human faces, but AEW does as well from time to time. I love the tights here with the yellow and the blue and the black. Uh, the, the big uh, bullseye kind of thing on the knee pad. I forget who this is. Gosh, who's on this other knee pad? Somebody can tell me in the comments. I know I'm going to remember it after the video. I can't remember who that is. Uh, but yeah, very, very cool decor going on. Nice coloring to it. It feels plain, but when you look at it a little bit more, it, there's a lot more depth to it. And that's how I view this one. All the articulation we're used to, the ankles, boot cut, double jointed knees, of course, thigh swivel. Uh, he's got all that going on. And then, of course, got to take the jacket off, see what's doing here. Pop the old fists off. That's usually the best way, as we've seen. As we know, everything removable on these figures, that is one of the selling points for old customizers out there, and people that are wanting to do stuff. Uh, that makes a little bit of extra fun. What can your imagination do with you? Where can it take you to? I don't know. You figure it out. Uh, but good. It's a good body here. He's got forearm painted on. Got a little artwork on the forearms. Got Abraham Lincoln going strong. Got to love old Honest Abe. Who wouldn't want to put him on his ring gear? You know, one of the most honest guys in American history is what I've been told. It's what I've been told. That's why he's Honest Abe. Uh, he's also on currency, if you didn't know that. Well, you learn something new every day. But yeah, Trent, I'm here for it. It looks okay. Uh, uh, once again, the elbows, a little too loose for my liking. Uh, I just can imagine little kids breaking the arms on these a lot, and parents aren't going to have time for that. If they're buying them for their little kid, it gets broken. Hey, guess what? We're not buying those figures again. So I hope... We can get this consistently worked out, worked on, and fixed. That would be nice. We'll see if that ends up happening. But there's old Trent right there. Now let's throw it back to old Mattel Basics. I mean, this was like but Mattel Basics. I think this was actually a battle pack he was in. I'd have to do my research. I'd have to think back. But I think it was a battle pack, not a straight basic. But we got old Trent right here. So Trent going from Mattel, going on over to the AW Jazzwares line. The Jazzwares beats it all day long. I don't mind the decorations on this one. The face is just night and day difference, though, on the face. And, you know, 10, 11 years uh, difference in age as well. But very cool. And a lot of people do not know he has a Mattel figure. There's a few of those guys that got Mattel basics that never got elites, uh, and a lot more as of lately, especially with all the releases they've had on the Mattel side. So always interesting, always interesting. But there's old Trent. Now we got to turn our attention to his partner in crime, the old Kentucky gentleman. That's how I was introduced to him way back in the day on the indie scene. I remember it was a Hall of Fame show, Waterloo, Iowa Hall of Fame show every year. They always had the Young Guns tournament. Old Chucky e. T was a part of that, and I want to say it was like... 2018, 19, I don't know off the top of my head, but I talked to Chucky e. T, met him uh, there, and had a good time with old Chucky e. T in the backstage. He was a pretty funny guy, so I can see why people would want to be best friends with him. Uh, but he wasn't wearing Converse, which I thought was interesting, but the more you know. But let's look at the package. Chucky e. T, there he is. Uh, cool to get a figure of him in, in uh, this line this early. Not that there's anything against him, but new figures are always great, and it's good to be able to complete a team. And i got to say kudos to Jazzwares. You're giving us Statlander. You're giving us the best friends here. Uh, and then, of course, Orange Cassidy Part 2. All in one set, that's pretty cool. They could have lingered that out one in every set, and that's always frustrating. So right away, you got the best friends team in one set, if you miss the old Orange Cassidy especially. So we do like that. Uh, typical packaging we saw with Trent, all the bells and whistles there. Number 66 in the line, Unrivaled Series 8, of course, Glamour Shot, AEW. Of course, the back, there it is. What was that, Angelico? I don't know, I can't remember, but I, I believe that's it. Or Jack Evans, one of those two. Uh, then you got the cross sell down below, you got the best friends, you got Moxley, you got Jericho. Let's see what this uh, represents. 525, 2019, Las Vegas, Nevada. Double or nothing. Oh, yes. It's old Chuck Taylor, the Kentucky Gentleman. It's an interesting one. This is an interesting figure for sure. It's, it's one that's needed to complete the best friends, uh, but it's definitely an interesting figure. There you go. Let's pull it out. See you later. As I continue knocking stuff over, I'm, I'm off my see you later game today. It happens. It happens, folks. There's old Chucky e. T in the plastic prison. The old Kentucky gentleman. It even says it right there on his butt. I love it. I love it. I'm here for a Kentucky gentleman. 
There he goes. See you later. And speaking of Kentucky, 2024, you Kentuckians, you're going to see old Kyle in your streets. Kyle's got a big uh, expansion via work and all this, so I'm taking over a bunch more territory. Instead of the eight states of the Midwest, Kyle's going to be adding Indiana, Kentucky, Tennessee, and Alabama. So if you're in those areas, hey, look for your old buddy Kyle. Maybe we can get a pizza. Let's get a pizza. Take me on all the figure hunting spots. Can't wait. So uh, be prepared in 2023 coming your way maybe i'll visit the childhood home of the old kentucky gentleman never know never know all right chucky e. t what do you got for me here uh he does have the poly pocket but it's a vest so that's interesting i you know as much as we love the jackets it's nice to have a little bit of a mix here and he does wear this vest uh, this vest i can stomach a lot more in the poly pocket plastic style it's not as uh, abusive it's not abusive and it holds them back it feels it's good and i don't mind this i'll take this even over soft goods sometimes i'm okay with that it's the poly pocket that i have more of a problem with it does say chuck right there so you know who it is uh you got elbow pads on him how are the arms the arms are still a little bit weak of course just like the other ones but these elbow pads do help strengthen it a little bit so i'm okay with that he's got the forearm wrist tape there right on the wrist Hands removable, and once again, these best friends, they're not here to shake hands. They're not here to hug. you think they'd be here to hug with some open hands, but nah, man. Both these guys, they're here to throw fists, so watch out for the best friends. They both got fists going on them. I think Jazzware said, you know, Kyle's been saying we need fists. Let's put a fist on both of them. Let's put two fists. Let's get these best friends out there. And that's exactly what they did, and I'm here for it. Uh, and the nice thing is, though, about this line, you can match up the skin tones really good, so you can mix and match the hands. If you want open hands on here, go to your hand pile. You can do that if you want to. Uh, but Chuck T, very, very plain, though. Black vest, black pants, black knee pads, black boots. You get a little racing stripe. The blue and yellow does pop, does match Trent, so they do match. Always cool to have those tag teams. It was always fun, you guys know, collecting any of the lines over the years to complete your teams, have a tag team, especially in the same set. I like that idea a whole lot. Has a nice belt molded in here on him. Uh, we do like that. Let's see if I can get this vest off him. Easily removable vest. That's what I do like that. Uh, sometimes we fight with these things, as you guys know, but that vest, very easily removable. <sighs> Leaving a little bit of uh, pieces of plastic on him. And I got one little smudge there on his upper chest. Uh, Chucky e. T, I think they got his body pretty good. But where it goes south a little bit on uh, old, the Kentucky gentleman here is his face. It's very, very interesting. I mean, he's got a screaming pose. Those are tough. You know, you like to see emotion in your wrestling figure's faces. But I guess if a uh, gun to my head, I'd rather just have a kind of a blank stare. Because sometimes it looks a little weird when they're just screaming all the time or if they're smiling all the time. You almost need something in between. But this is where extra heads would really come in. Once again, no accessories with these guys. I don't know, cutting back. We know inflation has went up. It doesn't seem Jazzwares has taken much of a price increase on their end. Uh, I think Ringside and some of these other companies, third-party companies, have taken a price increase. I don't know that 100% for sure, uh, but I would assume that to be the case. Heck, Walmart, we haven't seen them go up either. That's a story for another day. Walmart seems to not doing inflation. And I think they're doing it very smart. Uh, they're really easing the inflation. And like I said, that's a story for another day. I could write a speech on that. Maybe we will one day. But I do like this Chuggy e. T. How are these boots? Okay, the boots are different. And these might be a new boot mold here with the, the lips up here at the top uh, hanging over. I do like that on the old kick pads. That's an interesting look. And if it is something different, uh, it's nice to get something new to the line via Chuck Taylor. You'd think they'd save that for a Sting or a Moxley or a Jericho. But no, we get some new tooling for Chuck E.T. Or I could be totally wrong. Who knows? Uh, but I don't mind this one. He's got a little bit of a patchy beard. Uh, I'm not super, super familiar how he's wearing his. I haven't looked real close at his face on TV. Uh, but maybe that's right. But he does have a patchy beard. And then the screaming head sculpt looks a little insane. Looks a little crazy. But it's all right. It's Chucky e. T. It's Trent. We got the best friends uh, in the same set. I'm here for it. I like the idea. I hope we see more of that in the future. And I guess Jazzwares, they've done that with most of their tag teams going forward. We've got them in the same set. So it's been a pretty good run that way so there it is chuck taylor trent beretta what do you think you here for them both i guess it's not trent Beretta anymore it's trent with a question mark trent uh, that's what it is but let me know your thoughts on these two in the comments down below make sure you subscribe to the channel follow along you don't want to miss an AEW video a mattel video a marvel legends video or a he-man video they're all on the channel Trust me, they are. Uh, and make sure you follow me on social media, SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson, and of course, ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. So for the best friends, I'm the best Kyle. I'll see you guys all real soon.